Okay. Now, drive back to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. Sounds good to me, man. Uh, you, didn't, you don't even have to pay me to do that. That just sounds like fun. What's up, criminals? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Thief Simulator. Um, I really don't know what to tell you guys about this game. There's really nothing to tell you about it. You are a thief, and you go around and steal stuff. Um, I played it for a little bit. It seems really interesting. We're going to give it a run and see what it's got to offer. Um, the developers are Noble Muffins. They were kind enough to share a key with me. It's going to be available November 9th, which should be tomorrow. All right, and I'm, I'm not sure how much it's going to be. The uh, price isn't up there yet. So let's get started here. We do have a profile. We're going to remove that just because I want to remove it. And we're going to start with a new profile, and our profile name is going to be Cage84. Maybe we should put it, maybe we should put a different name. How about, how about Max Bowser? Max Bowser, that sounds like a thief, right? Well, if anyone is out there named Max Bowser, I apologize, I don't think you're a thief. <laughs> um, hard mode, can be changed later options, no mini map, noise, visibility indicator all right we're not gonna do hard mode because it's our first time playing the game so let's get started max bowser he's got to steal some stuff it's 9 59 at night let's get some let's get some thievery going huh yeah so uh this does come out on friday so i'm kind of curious on how much it's gonna go for um i don't think it's an early access game i uh, i looked up and down their steam page i could not see any early access tag so this might be a full release which you know is pretty cool i don't do a lot of those so we'll have to see where we go with this and like I said, I've played it a little bit. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a, our buddy named Vinny. Uh, Vinny the something. We gotta think of a name for Vinny. All right, you, you, we'll get to it. We'll get to it in the game. But he's gonna help us through um, a baseline tutorial in the beginning of the game. I played it so far, and I really had a good time with it. I only played it for about a half hour, but I really really liked what I played. All right, guys, that's our that's our mark. One oh nine. Oh, there we are. We're like a ninja, man. Oh man, look at me. I'm I look like a real thief, don't I? All right, Max Bowser's here to steal. I'm here to steal and rob. Oh, Vinny's calling. Hold on, let's see what's going on, Vinny. Hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. All right, if you press T, you get a quick slot for a new tutorial. Um, you can add items to the quick slot for fast usage. To the quick slot for fast usage. Go to inventory, select an item, and then uh, press the quick slot button. Okay. The Lombardis paid your bail. They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if yeah. you get what I mean. Yeah, I know what Let's you mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. Okay, I will do that. So let's hold down tab, and let's go right here. Nope. Press I, and go in here, and quick slot, and put it right there. Now, if you hold down tab, that's how you actually pick the item up. So you go like this, hold down tab, pick it up, uh, break the planks. Now, I gotta be honest, your first your first action as a thief is to break stuff like that? It sounds kind of noisy. All right, so new tutorial, sneaking. Sneak allows you to make less noise, but it will make you slower. Default to C, you can also uh, lean with space left, right. Okay, so I changed mine to control because having C as the duck option is absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> in my opinion. And if you hold down uh, space bar and you press the arrow keys or... Yep, there we go, W and D. Yep, so W and D lets you, which lets you lean as long as you're pressing the space bar. All right, so let's sneak up here like a little ninja. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look at the uh, bottom left-hand side. There are people, and I could kind of see their visibility. So that's interesting. All right. Sneak by the window. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. You going to sneak by here? You going to turn around, lady? You going to turn around? Come on. Go away. Go away. Look somewhere else. All right, I could probably just sneak right by. There we go. Oh, all right. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wait, this isn't Peeping Tom Simulator. I'm playing the wrong game. Okay, let's continue. Uh, sneak by the window. There we go. Now we come over here. Avoid the light. Okay, so we got some light here. Let's press T and see what they got to say about that. When sneaking around at night, it's best to avoid well-lit places. Duh. Uh, your flashlight will also make you easy to spot. Okay, well, there's the flashlight. Nope, I don't have... Is L the flashlight? No, I don't think I have a flashlight, so I guess that doesn't matter. And we're going to sneak around this in the wood. Oh, there's somebody over there. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. Okay. 
All right, what do you got? What do you got to say? What do you got for me, Vinny? Hey, some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. Okay, so guys, we need a name for Vinny. All right, he's going to be with us for the majority of this game, as far as I can tell. What do you think we should call Vinny? You know, like there's Jimmy the Gent, uh, Tommy Two Times. You know, we need a name. Uh, you know, uh, we need a name for for Vinny. So guys, think of a name. Let me know in the comments. All right, so we do F for the flashlight, but we want to turn that off because we're a ninja. So let's come on over here. Break the window. When sneak around, but yeah, we already got that. Okay. So now we got to break the window. All right, look at that lock picking level four. We could pick the lock. See, there. It, I'm seeing a lot of depth to this game in the future, which I'm really excited about. Lock picking level four. Plus, I can get a glass knife, which would be awesome. But we don't need any of that. We're just gonna break it, and then we're gonna open it. All right. Climb in. Uh, toggle the flashlight. Man, okay, so here's another thing that I find funny about this guy. Don't bring a cell phone with you on a freaking job. What are you, crazy? Like, that thing's making noise. And if you're going to bring a cell phone, put the damn thing on silent. Uh, good job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. I would like to redistribute a little wealth. Can I break stuff open or... Oh, here we go. Why can't I take those shoes or these clothes, man? Like, that's, that's kind of weird I can't take those shoes, right? Isn't that weird? Ooh. Money, 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 money. Money. $15. Oh, God. That'll, I won't even pay for the gas to get out here. Oh, can I take those shoes? No. I can't take those shoes. Yeah. Uh, don't shoes sell for a lot. I know when I was a kid, Nikes were a big deal. Um, You know, <laughs> I imagine shoes will sell for a lot. All right. What do we got in here? Toilet. We got anything in there? Nothing. Uh, that doesn't look like anything I can steal. This place is a real dump. What's up with the bed? Oh, hiding spot. Oh, dude, you can get out of the bed. So what I'm thinking is there's going to be NPCs wandering around in future, you know, places that I go to. So, all right, that is awesome. Let's press T. Flashlights help you see loot in the dark. Remember, you're easier to, de to detect. Okay, got it. What do we got in here? Got anything in here? Oh, oh more money. More money. We're up to 30 bucks, guys. We're going to be able to retire soon. Ooh, a pot. Okay. So it looks like we might be getting experience with this, too. See, like that? Um, plus 10 experience. All right. So we got to... Can I take any plates? Can't take any plates. What do we got in here? Got some drawers. That's what we got. Empty. Empty. This feels like mist. All these empty drawers. Empty. Okay. Nothing in there. Can't take those. Oh, can I take something? Right? No, that was the uh, window. All right. Oh, a toaster. Watch out. Watch out, people. Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. All right, so I think when I get the toaster, that's when that's when Vinny calls somebody to get the hell out. Unequipped tools. Turn off the flashlight to avoid unwanted attention from other people. I guess that's when I leave the building. So there's some more money. All right. Is this the way out? No, nope, that's the lockpick. Do we got to go out through the door? Yeah. Door's locked. Yeah, I guess we... I mean, we gotta go out through the window. Should I break another... Uh, actually, I don't think we can go out through that window, can we? I'm not sure. Let's go right over here and take a look. Maybe. Let's climb out. Let's turn this off. Uh, so it doesn't seem like I can go out this way. Okay. So I think I gotta go back in here. Oh, it looks like there's another window I can get through. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna put this stuff away. So we hold down tab and go on the little hand thing. Um, now putting this, I'm imagining I'm wearing a mask. So I've got these gloves on. I've got a mask, but hey, I don't have a crowbar. Nothing going on here. <whistles> hey, what's up? How's it going? How's it going? How do you like my, uh, how do you like my mask? How do you, how do you like my, my, um, my thieving mitts? All right. It doesn't seem like she's interested. All right, let me get out of here. No time for love. Let's get going. Oh, that's how much sound I'm making. You see right by the 11 p.m. thing on the bottom left-hand side? That's how much sound I'm making. That's so cool. All right, so let's get in the car. Let's GTFO. Get in. And start it up. And let's get going. Uh, which way to go? Okay, little little yellow uh, triangle there. Got to go towards that. Triangle. Diamond. Sorry. Diamond! Diamonds! I love diamonds. I'm going for that diamond right there. 
I want I want to steal some diamonds, man. When do we get to steal some diamonds? There we go. Flashlight will help you. Yeah, we already saw that. All right, let's take a look at our summary. So I got an A. That seems pretty good. Uh, crowbar, flashlight. We got the pot. We got the teapot. We got the old toaster. Um, is that five stars? Like I can't tell if like some of these are lit. I think that's five stars for stealth bonus. Probably because I didn't get seen. We got seven experience and we got an A thief rating. That's right. That's right, people. Oh, here's Vinny. Good job, man. This just might work. Go get some sleep, and we'll pick this up in the morning. Okay. All right. So it's 11.30 at night. Let's take a look around our uh, hideout here. We've got storage. We could store stuff in our storage. Doesn't look like there's much to it. It's just a big box we could store stuff in. Uh, we can't do anything over here. That is an appraisal level 2. I need to be appraisal level 2, and it's uh, jewelry tools. All right. Doesn't look like there's anything under here. Nope, nope, nope. We got anything else out here? Or Nope. Doesn't look like it. Man, this is a real dump, huh? What if I could steal cars? Looks like there might be stuff over here to steal cars. All right, let's go upstairs. I wish I could close my doors. Yeah, you should be able to close your doors, man. Like, I don't want anyone coming in here and robbing me. All right, so we've got electron. We need electronics level one for the hacking tools. Um, we've got a computer right there. I don't think we're gonna mess around with the computer right now. Let's just um, let's go to sleep. That's what that's what Uncle Vinny told us to do. Maybe Uncle Vinny. So how long should we sleep for? Um, sleep till 1 a.m. Do, do we need sleep in this game, or let's just sleep for one hour? I don't know if we need sleep. Um, did I sleep? Yeah, it's 1 a.m. now. Okay, that's weird. It didn't have any kind of animation or anything. Oh, man, Vinny does not. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Yeah, I only need a half hour of sleep. No big deal. Let's check the computer, like Cousin Vinny said. Uncle Vinny. Tools I like Uncle Vinny. Tools let you buy new kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on Steal Your Forum. All right. Steal Your Forum. Here you can buy secrets. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Oh, this is really interesting. It's like a forum where people sell tips. Now, we're going to get the first set of tips for free uh, just to show us how to use them. Um, house security tips, $0, but other tips will cost us money. All right. Easy to break uh, the damaged wooden fence in the back. Old TV worth a buck. Spare door key in the drawer. Right. Now, go to your car. And there's no one home at the time. Okay, cool. What about tools for thieves? Yeah. So some of the stuff you could buy, but you need higher lock picking or higher lock picking. Um, I need agility. I don't know what the climbing gloves do. I guess I got to climb stuff. And, you know, there's just a bunch of stuff. We'll look through that later. I'd like to do another job before the end of the video. So let's go to our car. I could have slept through the night and slept into the morning. Hold on. Go hawk your loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. Okay. Okay. So you can only carry so much. Um, yeah, I would have slept till the morning, but it makes sense to do my thieving at night, doesn't it? Okay. All right, so let's go to the pawn shop. I was hoping I could actually drive over to the pawn shop, but, you know, what are you going to do? What's up, buddy? You open? Welcome back. Wow, you are one freaky looking dude. All right, well, let's go ahead and sell the pot, the teapot, and the old toaster for eight, eight, and three dollars. Eight, eight, and three dollars. Oh, hold on. Excuse me, sir. It's Vinny. It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. Okay. So, okay. So I'm basically, I got a job to go get a TV. This must be some kind of special TV, you know? Like, really? You're going to send me to get a TV? Like, who cares? Like, I don't know. It, like, I would think of like a diamond or something. Well, you know what? You got to start off small. That's what it is. All right, let's go to Green Greenview Street. And once we go to Greenview Street, once we're in the, like, neighborhood, then we can drive around a little bit to get to the house we need to get to. Okay, here we are on Greenview Street. Oh, 30 miles an hour. Let's not, uh, let's not get pulled over for a speeding ticket or anything. That would be bad. So we gotta go that way. Alright, what do we got down here? Alright, take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Stay on the road. Do I have a stop sign? Nope, no stop sign. Oh, here we are. Okay, so I think we're gonna... It looks like a driveway. Maybe we should back in the driveway. Can we look behind us? Yes, we can. It looks kind of like a driveway. It doesn't look like... 
It doesn't... It not only looks like nobody is here, it looks like nobody's been here in a while. So do we have to turn off the car? Or? I guess not. All right, let's open up the back door, because I know we're going to have to put the TV back there. All right, so nobody's home, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. This looks like another hiding place. <laughs> I really like this game so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. All right, so let's go get out old Bluey. Or, sorry, old Yeller, uh, which is our crowbar. Nobody's here, so we don't have to be a ninja. Let's just break in a window. Boom! Oh, sneaking in the bathroom window. Falling in the toilet. Nope. I think I just put my foot in the toilet. All right, well, there it is. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and get through here. And there's another toaster. I know that guy at the pawn shop loves his toasters. All right, so we got a pot. A lot of pot. Now, we should be stealing pot, but that's not the pot I'm thinking about. Dude, you should be able to find drug, like, drug storage stuff. That would be so cool. All right. So, let's look in here. Oh, what do we got in here? Nothing. Nothing. Anything in here? Oh, is that a safe? Is that a safe? It doesn't look like a safe, but kind of like a safe. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. There's the TV. Uh... Look in here. There's the key. Now, the reason we need the key is because we can't take the TV out of the window. So, we'll use the key on the door, but we'll do that in a second. All right. Looks like that's all that's in here. I'm probably going to miss stuff, to be perfectly honest. But I will... Uh, oop. See? I knew I was going to miss stuff. Money, 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 money. Money. Okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, grab that TV. This. Oh, we got a drawer here and more money. All right, nothing in the drawer. Let's go ahead and pick up the TV. Can we, will we put our, yep, we put our toolbar, we put our uh, crowbar away. Big items. To steal a, to, to steal a big item, TV, printer, etc. put it in the car's trunk and drive home. To sell big items at the pawn shop, you need to put, now, yeah, we saw the spot for the big, the big items. All right, so let's put this down and open that door. How do we put it down? Probably E. Yeah, be careful, don't break it. I'm going to turn this off just in case. We'll kind of scout this out. Don't look like there's anybody out there. Yeah, it looks like everyone's over there. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Very good. Very good. All right, so let's throw this sucker in the back of our car and let's go sell it to Uncle Vinny. We're going to make Uncle Vinny so happy. There we go. Close the back door. Get in the car. There we go. Beautiful. Now, where is the extraction point? All right, guys. It took me a couple minutes to figure out how to get out of there. There wasn't any kind of, like, marker showing me where to go. So, I, I just had to, like, drive off the map. But, remember to sp spend your unused skill points because I leveled up. All right? I got a thief ranking of S. Isn't S, like, the best? Right? I got the toaster, the pot, the saucepan, the saucepan, the front door key, and the old TV stealth bonus. I mean, it's kind of easy to get a stealth bonus when, you know, there's nobody there. You know. I see you got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Black Bay. Oh, okay. That's on the, uh, that's on the old interwebs. Oh, Black Bay. I set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. Okay, well, if we know each other, why can't you just come over and get it? All right, so these are all things, uh, Mr. Requ so th this is stuff people want to buy, I'm guessing. So he's got a TV up there. It's, it's an antique, right? <laughs> that TV is definitely an antique. All right, I guess it's under electronics. Um, old TV, 60 bu really, 60 bucks, huh? Eh, good work. Now, click on the Rent-A-Thug tab. All right, Rent-A-Thug. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. What I gotta? What I gotta? Wash dishes? I don't want to wash dishes. <laughs> um. All right. The bakers break their dishes. Wait. What? What? How did? How is that? Stealing. Well, it's rent a thug. So. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll be doing more stuff than just uh, thieving. Okay. Now drive back to one ten and break some dishes with the crowbar. Sounds good to me, man. Uh, you, didn't, you don't even have to pay me to do that. That just sounds like fun. By the way, is there a way to save the game? I don't know. No. Okay. Fair enough. 
I don't think there's a way to save the game. Um, I'm going to spend my skill point next episode. We'll spend it at the beginning of the next episode. I'd like to do one more job before the end of this episode. These jobs go a lot quicker than I thought. Oh, I do have a rear view mirror. I wonder if I can actually use it. All right, they're not giving you any more markers, but it's okay. It's not really a big deal because um, I just noticed on the bottom left-hand side, every single house is marked, and I'm going to 110. So it will not be, it will not be difficult. Oh, careful. Don't hop the curb, buddy. All right. That's 109, and that's 110. Oh, boy. How are we going to get in there? Should we park in 109? You think 109 would, like, care? I don't know. Maybe. We're going to park in 109. Repair cost, that's not good. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to park here. This is inconspicuous enough. Alright, guys. I went behind the building, was looking around, and then I got this red message that said... What? Who cares if someone's looking at me? That's okay. Um, I got this red message that said I was blocking traffic, and there was somebody out here. It was like a problem, so I had to come out and move my car. Alright, so I moved my car, and you know what I was thinking about? I probably should have went on that website, uh, the forum one with all the thieves, and uh, maybe I could have bought some information about this place. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and climb in. Is this the right place? This is 110, right? I think it is. Yeah, it looks like 110 to me. Not really sure. Uh, oh, we got a thing there. Yeah, I, I think I've been here before, unless, like, a lot of these buildings look the same. I don't remember the exact number of the building I was at last time. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, so this stuff either... Oh, so my stuff's full? Interesting. So, how much stuff can I hold? Do I have any items? Probably should have went and sold this stuff first. Alright, well, whatever. Smash dishes, right? That's what I'm here for? We're not here to steal anything. We're here to smash dishes. I just heard you don't even know how to pick a lock. Go learn the basics. I'm sure you've got enough skill by now. Alright, so what I was thinking, what I was thinking of as I was coming out here was that I probably should have learned lock skill, lock picking first, because I couldn't find a way to get in. I didn't see the open window. And I was like, all right, I probably should have learned lock picking. But then I was like, well, they probably would have told me that. You know, about the oh, trespassing. Let's get out of here. Peace out, yo. So I guess someone saw me there. I wasn't supposed to be there, but <laughs> oh, let's head to the pawn shop, do some selling, and then we're, we're going to pick our skill. We're going to pick lock picking. Just so you guys know, I got a D on that one, probably because I didn't loot enough because I didn't have any room because I was supposed to go to the pawn shop first. Um, also because I got spotted, so that kind of sucked. All right, sell at the pawn shop. Let me in. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. All right, so can I, I could sell all this, right? I don't think there's any reason not to. Alright, we're starting to make some mother effing money. How much money do you have? Oh, $268. That's not bad. That is not bad. Let's go get lockpicking, man. Yeah, I was thinking I probably should have got lockpicking skill. Also, we have to get into the habit of maybe looking up information about the house we're going to go to. You know? So, hey, I'm a novice thief. Well, you know, what the hell do I know? I'm doing jobs in the middle of the day, right? Alright, learn lockpicking. Um, actually, I don't learn lockpicking in here, so I don't know why I did that. Let's come over here and press I and go to skills. All right, guys. So the skills are pretty interesting. We've got more bag space, more backpack space, right? And you got four levels of that. Um, we've got agility, which means we can throw bricks. Agility two, climb vines. Agility three, carry bigger, big items faster. Agility four, climb on the house gutters. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Uh, right here we've got lot, and this is uh, this has got to be required level one. So I, I should be able to put one in that as well. But uh, we've also got lock pick. Oh no, I can't learn this. I wonder why I can't learn that. It's not connected to anything. Maybe I got to be a higher level agility level one one SP. Throwbacks require level one skill point. I'm not really sure why I can't take agility. Um, anyway, lock picking. Uh, you know, you get to pick better locks. Uh, right down here, we've got electronics. Uh, remove security from devices using hacking tools. Uh, dis disable power switches. Um, use PDA for hacking terminals. And use laptop to hack terminals remotely. Then we've got appraisal. Appraising items on the spot. Um... A disassembled jewelry with with uh, special tools and appraisal more items on appraise more items on the spot. Use the binoculars to mark from a distance. Then we've got uh, remove car parts, steal cars without alarms. Yeah, we can steal cars. That's really cool. Remove alarms from cars and steal cars with electronic locks. Cool. Very good. All right. Well, we're going to go with lock picking one. Again, I'm not really sure why I can't take this right now, but, you know, I'll look into it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this. 
There we go. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good. You know what, guys? Um, hold on. Let's see what let's see what Uncle Vinny got to say. Great. Now go buy yourself a DIY simple lockpick on Tools for Thieves. All right, guys. So um, if you want to see more of this game, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, uh, you might want to subscribe. Eh, you never know. You might want to see more of my videos. <laughs> I am going to call this one here, though. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.